What's up, Rooks? Welcome back to All The Castles, the show will revisit all the castles in the UK. Today we're doing Oswestry Castle. It's a very nice spot. It's on a very nice hill. Um, of course, there's not much left of it, as you can see, because Oliver Cromwell decided, hippity hoppity, this castle is no longer your property. And then he destroyed everything. Um, now, as you can see, um, on quite a big mound, um, you can see quite a lot of nice sort of buildings down there and it's even got a Sainsbury's just in case you need to get yourself some rump steak. The best kind, do it medium rare. Hello, here we are at Oswestry Castle on the Welsh and English border. Uh, it was first mentioned in the Doomsday Book in 1086 and then had a very checkered history passing between Welsh and English owners and people who were for and against the controversial kings of the time, Stephen and John. So we think that what remains dates from the 13th century after King John burnt the town down to the ground. Uh, the castle fell into disrepair towards the end of the 15th century and was finally demolished by Oliver Cromwell's forces after it was used as a royalist stronghold for a time in the English Civil War. Oswestry, Street, the town, grew out from the original bailey of the castle and was at one time surrounded by a number of town walls, but they were all demolished in the 18th century. And the castle grounds were extensively landscaped for Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee, but in the process they destroyed a lot of the archaeological evidence, so uh, they're not terribly great at preserving their heritage in these parts. So uh, anyway, we'll uh, now go and take a look at the well, Here we are at the remains of the keep. Uh, like I said, a few moments ago. Um, we think these ruins date from the 13th century after King John's destruction of the town. As you can see, there are not a great many left. Because King John was a dumbass. Well, no, it's Oliver Cromwell did this more than uh, King John. These were, were these were built after King John. He didn't cause the devastation. I mean, like so, though, he was a king back in the 1600s. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. He was in the 1200s, the early 13th century, Simon. Right, OK, well, don't say confidently he was in the 16th century. If, you don't, if you're just guessing, you're likely to get the wrong one, aren't you? He was in the 21st yeah. century. So that was a good lesson in historical logic there, if you were listening. It is a little lesson in history. So, and, well, that's about it for uh, remains that are above the ground. Yes, it is. But uh, one thing you can say is it's a marvellous 360 degree panorama. Which so we'll, uh, we'll follow Simon. Oh, oh, oh. 